Now the deadly consequences of the defund, dismantle police agenda is perhaps most apparent in the city of Portland, where shootings, homicides, they're still rising. Police morale is falling amid never-ending attacks, abuse of the police, anti-police rhetoric from left-wing radicals and elected officials, and the Portland Police Association leader, well, he says morale among officers is as bad as it's ever been. After all, 50 riot squad members resigned after an officer was indicted for allegedly assaulting a photographer. Here to explain more is the Portland Rapid Response Team commander, Jacob Clark. Jacob, I, I, I'll be honest, I, every cop I know wanted to be a cop since they're a kid. It's, a, it's not, a, it's a calling for most people that go into that, your profession. To have to leave it because things have gotten so dramatically difficult for you is sad to me. What happened here? Oh. Yes, totally agree with you. It is something that most of us have wanted to do our whole lives. Um, just to clarify, the, the team didn't leave the policing profession. They just resigned from that team. So they, they still have their normal jobs. The riot um, squad, they, were, they resigned from that. Exactly, yeah. It, this is just, it keeps being, I know the timing came after the indictment of one of the team members, but really, um, this was a long time coming. Uh, the team wanted to quit back in the fall. They met with the chiefs of police. They expressed all of their issues. Um, the chiefs said that they would address it, and um, the, the team believed that. They kept doing their job. And then really this, this indictment of one of our officers was really kind of the second to last straw that broke the camel's back for the team. Um, you know, I mean, but look at it. We have— Go ahead. We have now defund, we have dismantle, then we have no bail laws like in New York, and then cops are getting hit with rocks and bottles and bricks and Molotov cocktails, and if they fight back, then they're the ones in trouble, and now they want cops to hire their own lawyers. To me, that, that's the end of all policing as we know it. Am I wrong? It's certainly not going in the right direction, in my opinion. I mean, it, it, how do you do your job, right? Well, that's that's the big question. I mean, we we just need like the team just needs guidance. They need support, um, and they're, they're we're just not seeing that. And that's that's what leads to this. They they don't know what they can do because um, the policies are the interpretations of policies are always changing. There's new interpretations of the law that applies to this stuff. It's Nobody can tell us what we can and cannot or should or should not do in the no, chaos it's, it's, of a riot. And how do you operate in that? Well, thank you for telling us your story. I'll tell you this. Who are you going to call? When, when all hell breaks loose, who will you call? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.